Welcome to Fairy Tale. I am Natsu Dragneel. I'm Gray Fogelstead. I am Elfman. I am Julia. I'm Lisa. I'm Charles. I'm Loki. I'm Happy. I'm Mira. I'm Erza. I'm Wendy. We, we are Fairy Tales. We don't live like we have already. Oh, god damn it. We are My magic arc of time manipulates my wedgie. I'm Naruto. Wait, shit. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I suddenly see the fail in this plan. I'm always needing someone. Well, I can do that for you. Like a good neighbor, Moo Moo is there. <laughs> <laughs> Good neighbor, Moo Moo is there. And can I get a ham sandwich? I want a sandwich. I want to breathe. I don't need no grease. I need my grease. It's me. Pretty, pretty bees. I'm hurting the bees. But that's the thing. Wait, that's the cheese. Rhyme and rhyme. I'm sound like Brian. I want to make up for the flat check. Fly to rough they hold. And you stay here. So hello and welcome to episode 25 of the Fairy Tale Podcast. Oh my god, we hit that epic number 25. And as you guys can hear from our new intro, uh, yeah, we got a couple of things that we're doing kind of new for this episode. Not not too much, but I uh, really wanted to do a real quick shout about episode 23. If you haven't gone and checked, you really, really should. On our website, which is fairytalepodcast.wordpress.com. Yes, I know that's a mouthful, but you can type it. It's not that big of a deal. Or if you just type Fairy Tale Podcast in Google, it'll have it right there. So either one of those. But if you go on there, check out the blog post that we put for episode 23, because it actually has links to the anime uh, episodes that we talked about. And we're going to do that up into this episode. Like, this episode is the last time that we're recapping anything that Funimation has put up on its site, because it's the end of what they've licensed so far. Uh, now, we say so far because we're hoping that, you know, uh, enough people are actually buying the dubbed version so that they can continue to license the rest of what's out there. And then when Funimation does that, we'll, we'll, uh, we're only going one episode at a time, so when they actually catch up, you know, we'll be pretty good. So as of this episode, the anime recaps will change after... We do, we're doing the last of the two episodes this week, and then next week it's going to be uh, 49 is what we will be talking about. And just that one. We're not going to do two episodes a week, just one. And that's the major change on there. Also, a big celebratory thing. Uh, today, in fact, we just hit 100,000 downloads for the Fairy Tale Podcast. So that is absolutely amazing. And uh, we really, really appreciate I did not think when we started this podcast that we'd actually hit that number within the first three months. And uh, Gray and I were going, uh, Gray and I kind of were joking around about the fact that, you know, uh, could we get 100,000 downloads before November ended? And sure enough, we can, because here it is two days before the end of November, and we're oh, over 100,000. We yeah. <laughs> it's not just. It's not just that we're over 100,000 downloads. Like, we're massively over 100,000 downloads now. It's awesome. We cannot thank you guys enough. It is so cool that you guys are actually checking us out that much. And what's really surprising, uh, at least for us especially, is the amount of people that are checking out this podcast that are not in a country that we would consider to be an English-speaking country predominantly. So uh, a really, really big shout out to all the Asian countries that are downloading us. Uh, specifically, of course, Thailand. Uh, Thirty-five thousand downloads from Thailand and sixteen thousand from the Philippines, nine thousand from Korea, and hey, the U.S. is at seven thousand now. So they they've broken that five thousand mark. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, the people in Hong Kong with uh, almost seven thousand themselves, six uh, sixty-eight hundred. France, working that good 5,200. And Japan, wow, 2,594 downloads. I was not expecting to have that big of an audience in Japan ever. So uh, to all of you out there, we uh, love you so much. Yeah, it, it is beyond amazing. Thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. I figured it was going to take us at least six months to get to that point. But, uh, yay. we got a gr- uh, pretty good show for you guys today. Uh, I don't know who we're talking about with uh, Charles Magical Education, because she usually likes to hide that information from us. He but uh, I'm, like a, I'm understanding... I know, right? Uh, but, it is! But I'm assuming it's gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be pretty interesting. And then we've got an awesome throwback to old school with uh, cooking with Elfman. And I'm pretty sure that Urza will love this particular episode of Cooking with Elfman. And uh, then we're once again gonna wrap up those segments with a wonderful image of the bar, aka the guild, <laughs> uh, with Lisana in Redis's gallery. So. Uh, but before we get started on any of that, we got to recap the anime episodes, but before we can even do that, we're going to move over to Shaw, who has some fairy tale news for us. Cosplayers have teamed up to raise money for Cosplay for a Cause, a group dedicated to raising money to support Japan's disaster relief. All right. What they're doing is they've made this calendar, and um, it's like the top cosplayers in a 13th month calendar. Uh, let's see. They have created a limited edition 13th month calendar featuring never-before-seen photos of international cosplayers, as well as artwork from comic book artist Mark Brooks and Eric... Kennedy and Cully ha- Hamner and Brian Steelfreeze. Uh, the calendar costs seventeen dollars in American, and it one hundred percent of the proceeds will go to the Japanese Red Cross Society. Information about the cosplayers can be found on the Cosplay for a Cause website. Also, voice actor Todd Habercorn and Team Habercorn are also raising money with the 2012 The Fur Behind the Mic calendar. The calendar will include photos of voice actors with their pets, and all the proceeds will go to support the uh, Acadian Humane Society, a non-kill animal shelter located in Sunset, Louisiana. Anyone who pre-orders the calendar will also get to vote for who will be in the uh, who will appear on the last month. And the little picture that they have to go along with this is Colleen Klinkenbeard playing uh, chest with her dog. Chess, not chest. Well, yeah, chess with her dog. <laughs> if the dog is playing chest with her, <laughs> that's a whole different kind of game. I that approve. Would, that could also make kind of an interesting calendar in its own right. Oh, oh come no. on. Though, though only for a select amount of people. The uh, images that they do have, like, here on the site, do look really cool. Especially the, uh, I'm going to guess it's the summer. Considering, considering that Colleen is Riza Hawkeye, it kind of makes sense that she would have her dog playing chess. <laughs> that thing would have learned how to play chess because it's afraid of getting shot. <laughs> But I thought that was pretty interesting. Okay, and for con updates, still a very sparse list. Um, sparse. Uh, we have Anime Crossroads, which is December 16th through the 18th in Indianapolis, Indiana. And Todd Habercorn and Monica Real will be there. Then we have IkiCon, which is a very weird name. Um, December 30th through January 1st in Austin, Texas, and Tia Ballard will show. And that's it for con updates. Our other update uh, for the podcast is that we are trying to get Tia Ballard onto the show sometime in the next month, so uh, look forward to that. Now, we did send the interview with uh, Todd Habercorn back to him so that he could listen to it. He hasn't sent us a message back letting us know if he approved or not, so I'm not posting it until he gives us the okay. So, it may be sitting for a while. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully, we hear back from him soon. And, yeah, that wraps us up for the news. And we are now going to move on to the anime recap. Bye! Bye! (laughs) 
So this week's episodes are episodes 47 and 48, and they are the last two that Funimation has licensed up until now. And actually, I think that it's a good idea that they got licensed that many episodes, because this actually ends the arc with the fairy tale battle or the festival, fight festival, whatever you want to call it. We start off with Urza getting 200 of her swords ready to attack the Thunder Lacrima in the air, and Warren and Gray are t- using telepathy to talk to everybody. A, a, a bunch of... Uh, a fight ensues of all the people s- sitting there yelling at each other about the battle that's been going on so far and how everybody was just being mean. Lucy actually gets everybody together. And a boss. They're like, yeah, like a boss. And they're like, are you really going to let that newbie show us up? And they're like, oh, hell no, we're totally going to do it. Blah, blah, blah. So they all attack in their own unique and special little ways, all the lacrima, which, of course, they get shocked the hell out of for, but it all kind of falls to the ground like like shiny snow. It falls like shiny snow. <laughs> they get the crap shocked out of them, and they're on the ground. Then you find, then you go back to the battle with Natsu and Luxus, and you find out that Luxus has Dragon Slayer Lacrima in his body, and it's the Thunder Dragon that Lacrima. So he's kind of like a Thunder Dragon Slayer in his own right. There's no. Looks like Natsu's getting owned and about to bite it, Gajil shows up and saves the day. Like a boss? Like a boss, yes. And um, so Gajil and Natsu decide to team up to take on Loxus. It's actually a really, really interesting fight. I hope you guys watch it. It's it's amazing. And uh, it pretty much ends with Loxus going all full-powered. And you're like, what? It gets even worse? Yes, it does. It totally gets worse. <laughs> all right, so we get to episode 48. Natsu and Gajio look like they've had the crap torn out of them. Freed shows up to tell them that uh, everybody in the city is safe. The Thunder Palace thing failed. See, Levy is there. I forgot how she got there. You'll have to find out on your own by watching the episode. (laughs) (laughs) Natsu and Luxus continue to keep fighting. Looks like Luxus is finally going to take Natsu out. Gajio makes his arm iron in order to take the full brunt of the attack. And, of course, this pisses Natsu off. He goes super-powered and actually beats Luxus. Uh, all right, one of, the, one of the really interesting things about episode 48 is that you get to see a conversation between Igneal and uh, Grandine. So, this is before you meet Wendy. Oh, that was a cool scene. Yeah, so... That scene had what me the hell sitting is there going, going what? Oh. All right, I we get back to the that. guild... We get back to the guild, all the members are more are, 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 are more or less okay, and they're talking about the uh, the the actual parade, and uh, you, you see Gajil and Natsu are wrapped up, they look like mummies and everything, it, it's just crazy, but the, uh, I love Luxus shows up, everybody's like yelling at him and stuff, Natsu shows up and he's like mumbling words, nobody can understand him, and... Uh, Gajil translates for him and because like he's asking for another fight and Luxus is like yeah sure kid I'll fight you later uh, of course unfortunately because he broke so many important rules the master had to disband him from fairy tales so he has to leave the Raijinshu are also quite upset about this uh, we get a uh, conversation going on with uh, Ultir about what's been going on with the council, so we're kind of catching up with that, and we get a little glimpse at Jalal. Says, yeah, why are we looking at Jalal? Well, you'll find out. Then we get to the parade, and uh, while everything's pretty and cute and everything, I think, uh, and that there's so many people that you've seen throughout the series so far in the crowd, I think the best part about this is actually finding out uh, Gajil's side mission. Not only that, but... Uh, when Master's like, oh, Mr. Shubidubop guy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's it's a flashback of Luxus and showing how the fairy tale symbol started where you raise your hand up and you make an L with your thumb and your forefinger. It's basically so... Uh, it was a signal to Luxus so that Gramps, his grandfather would be able to see him. He's walking away, he stops, he turns around, and he sees everybody has their hands up like that. And this is a really iconic moment in the series. It's very reminiscent to, like, how uh, with One Piece, right after the Alabasta arc where they raised their hands in the air with the fist and it showed the X on their arms 
saying that they would always be friends and always be knocking up. That's basically what this means right here. It's the same gist. And it, it, it actually is one of those really pure, emotional, raw moments right there. And this is where, when you think everything's funny, you think everything's cute, everything's over, it, it, and then Mashima Sensei gets you with a gut-wrenching moment, and it was just so good. But uh, that is how episode 48 ends, is Lucy kind of talking a little bit more as the as the parade goes on. But, uh, yeah, let's go around the uh, call here and see what everybody thought about this episode. Urza, thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, thumbs up. Nisana? Thumbs up. Elfman? Thumbs up. Loki? Thumbs up. Gray? Thumbs up. And Charles? Thumbs up. All right. So what is one thing you liked or did not like? Lisana? Um, the conversation between um, Grandy and, if that's how you pronounce it, well or not. Is it, was I, pr- yeah, Grandini, I said it, god damn it. Grandy, <laughs> not Grandini. She keeps calling it Grandini. Grandini. Great, it got stuck in my head. But, yeah. no, the but conversation between her and uh, Igneo was huh? epic to the extreme. Elfman. All the magical fighting. Yay. <laughs> Loki. Um, I like the battle between um, Luxus and Natsu. Gray. I liked the bit where they were both wrapped up like mummies. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles. Oh my god, there's so much that I did like. Do I have to pick one? Yes. Yes, you do. Your favorite. <laughs> okay, my absolute favorite has to be the parade. And then where, you know, Luxus turns around and sees everybody got their hand up in an elf. That literally had me bawling. I had tears rolling down my eyes. I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. That is extremely awesome, yeah. Alrighty, so uh, in comparison to the anime and the manga, what do you think was better this week, uh, Lisana? Anime. Elfman. Anime. Loki. Anime. Grey. And you mi- And Charles. Oh my god, do you have to ask the anime? <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, that is going to wrap us up for the anime recap, and we are going to move on to Charles, who I believe has some magical education for us. Education, I'm going to talk about Jiroi. Uh, Jiroi is a member of uh, Team Shadow Gear with Levy and Jet. Uh, Jiroi is 18 years old. Jiroi was a skinny young man with distinctive facial features, but when the destruction of Tenru Island happened, Jiroi started eating out of depression and is now fat with double chin. Uh, Jiroi is also a childhood friend of Levy and Jet, and is the record holder for the fastest fastest rejection from Levy after confessing his undying love for her. He was turned out in one second flat. His magic is magic plant. It's a holder type magic. Uh, this magic is utilized by Jory and allows him to control rapidly growing plants in battle. He uses live coal containers to contain his seeds for when he is not using them. He has one spell that he uses called knuckle plant. Jory throws seeds on the ground, and they grow into giant vines with giant fists on the end. The fists then pummel the enemy until they are not able to fight. So and he really has the green thumb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that wraps it up for Charles' magical education. I'm going to hand it over to Elfman for Cooking with Elfman. teach you how to make Reptar bars. Mm. <clears throat> yes. That Reptar from the Rugrats. First, you're going to need 24 ounces of milk chocolate chips, 
4 teaspoons of crushed pecans, 4 teaspoons of caramel, 7 ounces of marshmallow fluff, and 2 ounces of green food color. First, grease a 2 by 4 inch mean loaf pan and set aside. Instant marshmallow fluff into a medium sized bowl, add the green food coloring and mix with a fork until well blended and consistent in coloring. Set aside. Using a double boiler, melt the chocolate over the boiling water and then remove the from heat. Pour one fourth cup of the melted chocolate into a greased loaf pan and spread until the surface is even. Sprinkle one teaspoon of the crushed pecans over the melted chocolate. Place the loaf pan in the freezer for about 10 minutes to solid solidify the lower layer of the reptile bar. Next, remove the pan from the freezer and drizzle about one tablespoon of the green marshmallow mixture in the center of the bar. Spreading it vertically, but making sure that there is at least one half inch, but making sure that at least one one half inch of chocolate space surrounding all sides of the marshmallow. If you don't do this, when you add the top layer of the chocolate, the marshmallow will not be encased and it will look like your first. Then drizzle the drizzle the teaspoon of caramel over the marshmallow and take the bar back over the pot of chocolate, which should still be melted. Using a spoon, first drizzle the chocolate around the green marshmallow heap to encase it in the chocolate wall. Then, drizzle just enough chocolate over it so the green part is covered. If you do this in the opposite order, the weight of the melted chocolate on top of the marshmallow will force it to the sides, once again making a messy reptar sandwich instead of a nice and closed reptar bar. Place the pan in a freezer for about 10 minutes or until the chocolate has solidified. Gently press the sides of the pan in and out to loosen the bar. Then flip the pan over onto a plate and shake it until the bar falls out. Repeat this process until all the chocolate has been used. We'll make about four reptile bars and store them in a cool, dry place until you want to devour them. And that is it for Cooking with Elfman. I'm going to pass it over to Lisana for Reese's Gathering. I want a reptile bar. I have a few. Oh, I want to make that now. <laughs> I want to know where you got that recipe. <laughs> I told you Urza would be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Another entry into Reedus's gallery. For this week's um, entry, I've got a picture titled Show Dinner by Jeja87. I like this picture. It's cute. And it's kind of, you know, it's interesting. It's got a bunch of characters. It's not just, like, focusing on one dynamic picture. It's, you know, it's a group. It's fun. It's lighthearted. For starts, the anatomy looks pretty good. They actually, you know also try to put some effort into showing, okay, this person is actually this far back from the camera. Some people like to do this thing where they have everybody right next to each other and they say, oh no, that person's behind the other guy. You can't tell. This you can. There's perspective going on here. And I absolutely adore the expressions that are drawn. They look, you know, pretty good. Happy, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna say right now, Happy looks adorable. He's a little bit of fluff, and Happy looks a little more like a cat. I mean, yeah, the fairy tale style makes it makes Happy look like a cat, but I mean, this looks more like a cat than the fairy tale style, and I like that. And am I the only one who's kind of amused by Natsu's expression? I think he's just upset because Erza got the last piece of cake. The clothing looks like it's actually, you know, drawn right, and um. You know, the expressions, the background. I like that they put a little bit of depth in there. And also, there's kind of a casual cameo in there, but I'm just saying. And with that being said, I'm going to go around the table and ask everybody's opinions. Cheryl, thumbs up or thumbs down? Mm, thumbs up. Elfman? Thumbs up. Wendy? Thumbs up. Natsu? Sideways. Gray? Sideways. Loki? Thumb sideways. And Erza? Oh, all right. What is one thing you like to just like about this picture, Cheryl? Um, I really like Happy. He just looks too damn adorable. All right, Elfman. This picture isn't manly enough. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I had to like something, uh, I, I like to really see him happy. Okay. 
Uh, Wendy. I really like that this picture has uh, four of my favorite characters in it, so that's always <laughs> pleasant for me. Pandemonium! Anyways, Natsu? I, I like that Urza is eating her favorite cake, but at the same time, it feels weird that Juvia is not glaring at Lucy. So that's that was my beef. Like, I mean, some of the drawing style is kind of weird, but yeah. Uh, Ju- if Juvia is not glaring at Lucy, it's just not a fairy tale. All right, all right. Gray? I didn't like Natsu's expression. It looks stupid. You're just saying that because... How is that different from any other expression he has? Oh! I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it. No, so, you can so, Loki, so more gray, less Loki. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, Erza? I like cake. <laughs> cake is a lie. But the pie is the pie It's not a line. It was delicious. Yeah, the pie is It is a strawberry cake, and it is her favorite thing. Except in real life, I hate strawberries. Uh, Loki? Well, I mean, the picture is good overall. The um, facial expressions kind of throw me off a little bit. And the fact that uh, Erza's fork looks more like a spoon and how it's curved. It doesn't it's really look spork. like... It's a spork! Shut up! It's a spork. <laughs> okay, we just invented the spork now, so... <laughs> I mean, overall, the picture... Why can't it ever be... No, no, we didn't invent the spork. The spork was already there. Why can't we ever... Why can't it ever be a food? That's what I'm saying. Huh? Seriously. Yeah, yeah, why can't it be a food? Food is so much more fun to say anyway. <laughs> spoon. Food. 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 The weird. tick would be so Because proud. it would eventually become a sexual term. Episode 25. Food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All righty. So one word to describe this picture. Cheryl. Mm, food. <laughs> what? Say that. Did she say Foon? Yes. Bitch, you stole mine. <laughs> Elfman? Tasties. All right, Wendy? Fantastic. Natsu? Motherfucking Foon. <laughs> Gray? Spork. Bitch! <laughs> There's a... Banana. <laughs> you know what? Fuck, you can have that. And Loki. <laughs> okay, finish off with Loki. Yeah, I Loki. forgot because of all because of all because of all that. I don't I'm blame. Just gonna say, I'm just gonna say derp. Derp. You know, right. you could just grab a thesaurus really quick. Fine, right, I'll just say forking Lucy. <laughs> forking Lucy. <laughs> with that being said, I just have one question. Why did? Why is it that? Why is it that Lucy's drinking a martini? Because Lucy can. <laughs> Because you're there, she needs to get drunk to forget your face. Oh! Oh! Ouch! Wow! That was me. So, so, so again, more Go gray, Loki. less Loki. What? And with all of this being said, I think I will hand it back to Natsu. All right, so that's going to wrap us up for the uh, segments that we have, and we're going to move on to the epic manga, pa- uh, the epic manga chapter, where just like always. Toby has to play a character that's going to take one up the ass. <laughs> oh, my. Do you mean Loki? Whatever. It's still the same idiot no matter what. So this week's chapter... It's chapter 261, and it's called The One Magic. And, uh, can I just say that, uh... My wife looks hot, what? <laughs> I was gonna say, Frisk is looking rather fetching. Took her and I kill you. Whatever, fuck off. Now, in the past seven years, beyond simply magic, she's cultivated a woman's charms as well. Yes, uh, <laughs> Right, Bad. so six... So six years ago, in the year X785, she married Alzac and took on the last name Connell. After the birth of her daughter, Asuka, she became the one and only mother wizard in fairy tale. Over the past seven years, she's made huge advancements in her gunner magic, not only in the number of bullets she can re-equip, but also in her reload speed and hitting accuracy. She is a 
Uh, she has a friend care for Asuka while she's working, but unbeknownst to her, long ago, this friend actually had a secret crush on Altac. I didn't uh, know this. Uh, I didn't bah, know this. Bah, bah. Shit, I'm gonna get beaten now. Restoring their reputation on a formal stage. Fairy tales going to wager their pride entering the great magic games. It'll begin in another three months. The one great event that decides the number one guild in Fiore, the Great Magic Games. This is a festival featuring many different kinds of magic competitions. In the span of seven years, our guild has become the weakest in the kingdom of Fiore. In order to make Fairy Tale the number one guild in Fiore, we resolve to enter the Great Magic Games. However, however, to us of the Tenro Gang, perhaps those seven blank years have left us unable to match up with the battles of these times. There are three months until the festival. Therefore, we... All right, side note from Hiromashima. A word from Mashima. I was making fun of a staff member's broken cell phone for a whole week, but then my own cell phone ended up breaking the next week. Dear. Ouch, <laughs> that's karma for you. And then we come to the best set of pages ever, and it starts off epically. Held a training camp by the sea! Yay! I mean, bikinis. You guys, we didn't come here to play. I like how she says that in that outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of like, don't that, don't let that retract from what I said. I'm like, no, I'm sorry, no. That's right. Just like that. Even if you say that. Of course, we understand. <laughs> I love the next. <laughs> You get to be happy with this next two lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Having some variety is key. Playing well, eating well, sleeping well. Stripping well. Yeah. You totally left out the main part of training. By the end of your training camp. At the very least, we'll have you to be able to defeat those of our level. It's the ocean! Yeah! Swimming battle! Swimming battle! Sand Castle Moving Battle! Face Double Battle! Oh, 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 oh. Sun Daddy Battle! <laughs> They're totally enjoying themselves. Oh, uh, well, let's be leading for the first day, at least. A Sun Tap Gertie is dreamy, too! Um, this. How should this be read? Teddy. Teddy's ass. And it's dripping wet. <laughs> huh? Now that you mention it, of the Tenro group that came to the training camp, this is it? It seems like the others are having their own training camp somewhere else. Okay, just gotta say, uh, I love that image right there. <laughs> I like that Lucy's boobs are like so spectacular that they make that the the ball has to squish around them. <laughs> I think my lion just came out of its cage. This is... Oh, my God. Wow. Did you release your kraken? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's 50 feet long. <laughs> That's an over-exaggeration if there ever that was one. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That means 50 millimeters. And it's mythical. Listen to my dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway... It seems like Mira's group went to the mountains. Luxus and his crew went somewhere else as well. Hmm. I feel like we're forgetting someone. Guys, you and Lily. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen them lately. They said it was some sort of secret training. I tried to go along with them, but they turned me down. You tried to go along? Oh, let me jump. No! No! It's not like that at all! Come on already! Give me a break, Luchin! Ha ha ha! I'm enjoying this view. I am too. Especially the next one. The Kraken Yay! just got released. <laughs> release the Kraken! No, I like Maybe how, ass. I like how I like how Mishima's even added it in there. He's got the Whoa! sound effect in the manga. <laughs> I can't wait for this to get to anime. I, I think he's having too much fun drawing though. Uh, he said several times that he loves drawing girls this way. Well, I think uh, he should keep on, because it is amazing. <laughs> hey, if you're a perv, we're pervs, we love it, so keep it up, man. Uh-huh. And Urza, it's not like you're complaining. Nope. 
He does a good job drawing the female form. If he sucked, then yeah, we'd probably say something. <laughs> and gotta say, Urza, you're looking dead sexy. Oh, well, it's the first day after all. This is fine, right? That's right. But it's going to be proper training from the afternoon onwards. In my case, I want to do something about my weakness of always having my magic power run out at crucial junctures. Training your willpower will raise your magic capacity as well. Feel the earth. Feel the wind. Feel the energy. Feel it within your skin. Then align your breathing to become one with nature. And she does just that. This is why this is why I can't wait for the anime, because when she does that, you'll see the chest rise and fall. Yeah. Just like bread. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but bread doesn't fall. Uh uh-uh. uh. It rises. Mm hmm. Huh? That's it, Lucy Sama. Keep going. Mm. Please release a little more magic power. Ugh. It's hard. Lilith Sama also honed her stellar spirit magic with the same kind of special training. Hey, have you heard of the one magic? It's the magic at the root of all magic, right? The one Hades was talking about. The one he wanted to obtain. I heard about it before from my mother. Zara, the great world of magic. It didn't have anything to do with the dangerous things like that. What do you mean? If the one magic that mother talked about was real, Hades back then could have never obtained it. He couldn't even have conceived of it. Another side note from Hiro Mishima. A word from Mishima. Seems like the next arc for Fairy Tale will have an incredible number of characters. I'm still in the planning phases, but it seems the scale will be akin to a compilation of everything and everyone up until now. I'll try my best. And that is quite possibly the best news we've heard in Fairy Tale. Like, basically, it's going to have a shit ton of fucking characters. Wow. I hope I get to appear. Oh, dude, there's going to be a lot of people. It looks like practically everyone that's been in Fairy Tale is going to show up in this. Wow. So. We may get to see what Melody and Ultair look like uh, soon. Hey, lesbians. Later. You know they're totally married. Hmm. No, anyway. It's not something that can be obtained so easily. And while indeed it's a formidable power that can triumph over anything, at the same time, it's an incredibly fragile power as well. Mother said that. All magic began from love. Therefore, I think that the one magic is love. That's quite a splendid interpretation. If only Hades had been able to think like that as well, perhaps he wouldn't have veered towards the depths of darkness either. So, I, I love I love what Gray's doing here, even though I have no idea what it is. It just looks badass. Neither do I, and I was doing it at the time. And I was sitting there, sitting, I was sitting there watching this, and I was sitting there thinking, is he making a dragon out of ice? Because that would be cool. And then I was like, dude, that should be it! The ice dragon should show up and teach Gray how to do ice <gasps> And then Grey would be a dragon slayer. I, I love how Wendy is getting help with reading from Levy. Because I'm, I'm assuming that's how Levy's training's going to go, because I really don't know how Levy's going to really train, but I hope she actually gets better. Uh, and then uh, we were commenting on this before, that this is actually the perfect spot for Juvia to train, is at the ocean. Yes, we did, did we? Yeah. And then Urza is just... Chopping oh, bitches. Urza. Chopping bitches left and right. Ah! Stronger! Stronger! Then stronger! Ay, ay, sir! I'll shut up everyone that looks down on our guild! Ay. I'll show you the strength of Fairy Tail! I'll show you all! I'll show you! Juvia, hurry up! I like Wendy's face. <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, well, it's a promise after all. That's not fair, Natsu. Don't go ahead of us. Uh, I ate too much. <laughs> As expected, the bath after moving your body around is on a whole different level. It can take away all the fatigue, huh? It said that the water here beautifies the skin. Ah! By the way, why is Happy here? Is he because of a cat? That lucky pussy. Here he is, I'm Look, the stars are beautiful. 
Wait, there are stars? I'm not paying attention to the stars at all. I never saw the stars. I've read this manga chapter four times, and I still see no stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I wonder if everyone else is hard at work training right now. They might be watching the stars like us. Anyway, moving on to Kata, who's got something in her mouth yet again. And like, awesome, Ben, look at the stars. Oh. Uh, no, but the part that I love the most is actually Gajiel and Panther Lily on the page. They have, like, the fucking same expression. So but I'm curious bad. as to how their training is going. I have to try harder, too. They're like this, Urza, attack. Oh. Who is it? What's wrong, Urza? No. I thought I felt some suspicious aura. Was it my imagination? Quark! <laughs> what? <laughs> is that a space duck? No! I mean, Quark! <laughs> Maybe they came to peep on us? They're the worst! Oh, wow. Grace Mama wouldn't do something like that. Well, I did yeah, but that's a proper ass cheek right there. Why did the page have to end? Right? Yeah. Alright, so anyway, I love I love it. Her dialogue right here. <laughs> okay. Not you and the others? I wouldn't mind. Let's call them. Why don't we get in together? No way! I approve. Look at Wendy's face. I like the way Lacey's I love like, oh, oh, face. No, 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 the face at the, no, the, 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 the expressions at the bottom are what sells this whole face. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I was going to die. I shouldn't have gone along with you. Weren't you pretty excited as well? Uh, How the, the hell, hell did you get stuck there? there? Refreshed. Tomorrow is training, right? To be continued in 262. The Star Song. Okay, so yeah, very good point. How the fuck did he get hit right there? But uh, the best image of the whole damn chapter is 22. Yes. Hell yeah. That's the wow moment right there. Damn, Erza, you are looking fine. Yet again, Erza, I've got to say, you have a nice booty. She needs, yeah. to ditch the, she needs to ditch the bikini. That would be called porn. And that would be called awesome. And that's why we're okay with it. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, let's go around the call and get everybody's opinion. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down for this chapter? Urza. Thumbs up. Lisana. Thumbs up. Elfman. Blood pressure up. I mean, thumbs up. Edo Lucy. Thumbs up. Loki. Two thumbs up and hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, make that a third. Gray. There's something sticking up somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. But I just put my thumb up just in case. Charles. I have to say, pause up. Wendy. Thumbs up in all the right ways. All right, so uh, what is one thing you liked or didn't like about this chapter? Urza. Um, I liked all the naked girls. <laughs> I have a feeling everybody's going to be saying that. Lusada. Boobies everywhere. Elfman. I am prepared for the hyperbolic boob chamber. <laughs> And a Lucy. I like the boob. Loki. The titty festival has come to town, and I'm loving it. Gray. Tits and ass everywhere. Charles. <laughs> Levy's got ass. Wendy. I personally think the girls had way too much clothes on. Aha! Uh-huh. Dude, the guys had too much clothes on, too. I mean, you get to Every, see all the chicks. I want to see some of the guys. Okay. Come on. Everyone well. was just <laughs> wearing... Way too much. All right, so uh, naked. Na- I-, I say we should all get naked, right? I'm already there. I already am. I mean, too we can late. do video too call now. Me. What is your prediction for next week's chapter, though, Urza? Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people there. Lisana. Green matches. A lot of them. Elfman. I think each team that went out to train is going to have a bit more in depth of what mm-hmm. they're doing. Edo Lucy. Yeah, I think they're actually gonna do some actual training. Okay, Loki. I'm seeing a lot of characters, a lot of good training, and some old and some old familiar faces are gonna come back. Gray. There's gonna be more tits and ass, and you know we might see Gajiel and Lily's training. Charles. I think we're gonna see Gajiel and uh, Lily's training because we haven't even got anything about them. And Wendy. I think we're going to see everybody else's training and maybe have some more people pop up. Okay. And uh, last but not least, what did you guys think of this recap? Urza. It was fun. Lisana. 
I was here for it this time. <laughs> Elfman. It was a sixth party in Arizona. And a Lucy. If this is what training is, I want to join. <laughs> Loki. I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, okay, um, I liked all the random perverted jokes. No shit. Gray. Oh, the sakes. <laughs> the sakes. Charles. Oh, my God. This uh recap was uh pervert galore. And it was awesome. It was a perfect And I only you. joined in once. Oh, oh damn, you should have joined in more. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and going with that, I, this whole recap, we are just all in the gutter for the whole thing. We don't even give any fucks anymore. When are we not in the gutter? Literally. Exactly. Um, Usually, usually with Fairy Tale, you guys are pretty good. You turned this episode of Fairy Tale basically into Konoha Corner, and I hate you for it. No, you don't. You yeah, love I it, and do. you know it. I found it funny, but I still hate you for it. No, when you edit, you're going to be like, ah, ha, 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 ha. When I edit, I'm going to be like, shut the fuck up, all of you bitches. All right, so, uh, yeah, that is going to wrap us up for the manga recap and pretty much this episode of the podcast. All that's left for us to do is to name this ridiculous, and let's face it, it was very ridiculous, episode of the podcast. So, episode 25 shall be called what? Charl. Boobs in training. Wow. Edo Lucy. Boobies left and right. Elfman. Boobs, 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 tiddly boobs, boobs. Urza. The training bra episode. Gray. Oh, all these boobs, man. Lisana. Foon. <laughs> Somebody remembered Foon. I forgot hey. Foon. I love Foon. Oh, I was totally going to use it. Loki. Lovely bunch of coconuts and the epic Foon. <laughs> and Wendy. The booby musical. I'm going to go with episode 25, over 100,000. Foon. Foon. <laughs> <laughs> and the booby wrap up. Let me just make the booby wrap. The booby wrap. I just did. The booby wrap. <laughs> yeah, I'll 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 be glad to wrap all of your boobies. With my tongue. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, tongue. with my tongue. <laughs> I don't want big ass tongue. I do. I can show you. Girls tell me. All right. So anyway, yeah, that <laughs> is going to. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna wrap up this episode of the podcast, and we are gonna play through all the ways that you can get a hold of us. Find out about the latest fairy tale news, when the next episode is out, or to post on our blogs and let us know what you saw. Visit fairytalepodcast.wordpress.com. You can also send us an email to fairytalepodcast at gmail dot com. Of course, all our videos are up on YouTube until we find a good feed to host them for iTunes and Zoom. However. We do not have all the audio up on our Mega Upload account, which is linked in the description for every video we post up. If you want to follow us on Twitter to see what pretty pictures we find, new logos, con info, and awesome music, follow us at Fairytale Cast. Keep up to date on when the newest episodes and chapters come out, as well as chat with other fans of the podcast and the Fairytale community. Discuss all your latest obsessions, share news, and chat with the crew of the podcast. Also, be sure to send us your AMVs to post as well as any cosplay images you have. Help our community of fans to grow. All right, so again, we really, really appreciate all the downloads that you guys have been, like, giving us. Like, this is amazing. We cannot thank you guys enough. But uh, if you'd like, and I know a lot of you wanted to see us at different cons, but, I mean, getting there is the difficult process to that. So, uh, again, we need to ask for your help. And... It's really simple. All you have to do is go to KonohaCornerPodcast.webs.com, click on that little donation button, and insert the monetary amount of your choice into Happy's Little Pouch. But while you're doing that, please don't forget the reason why we're all here, and that is the Fairy Tales series. Please help keep Hiromashima employed, and it's really simple to do that. You just purchase the anime, manga, video game, and all the incredible swag that is out there. Show your support by being a fan. Remember, mages are so much cooler than pirates. I'm not to drag Neil. I'm trying not to get caught sneaking up on the woman's side of the bath. I'm Charles, and... Hey, Happy, come here. I'm doing kind of... Happy. And in the good way. Somebody needs a one-inch warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I can't! Yeah! <laughs>
I'm Anna Lucy, and I'm proud of my boobs. <laughs> I'm Elfman, and I'm proud of her boobs, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Erza, and I want to spoon you. <laughs> oh, baby, oh, baby. There. I'm Gray. And because Anna Lucy's proud of her boobs, she gets the count. <laughs> All over her boobs. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Nisa, and is there food for me, too? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely Sana, the person that will willingly throw their breasts upon you. <laughs> thrust. It was very effective. Breast thrust. It's super effective. Critical hit. <laughs> right? It's not too fake. It's not too fake. But in a good way. I'm Loki and Lucy. Show me your boobs. Say no. Say no. I'm Wendy, and damn it, why aren't my tits like the rest of the girls? Because you have to grow up first. <laughs> I want to grow out of this training bra. <laughs> I want to grow up. I have a Toys R Us kid. There is a million things in Toys R Us that I can play with. Grow with kid shades. Oh, wait, wrong story. <laughs> <laughs> and the master toothbrushes. <laughs> right? I mean, um, that is going to wrap us up for the episode, and we are signing out. Peace off in the greatest guild in the world.